This module from the Institute of Marine Engineering, Science and Technology will explain the role of chartered status in professional success. Working in the marine sector is a rewarding but challenging career path. We need to ensure that the very best professionals are working with, on or in the sea and that these professionals are also working to safeguard the seas for future generations. As a committed professional, you can have your experience and competence formally recognised by becoming chartered, which is a certification of professionalism. Chartered status is a mark of excellence. It demonstrates that you work to a high standard and know how to operate safely. It shows that you think about environmental sustainability and that you actively stay up to date with technological advances through engaging in Continuing Professional Development, or CPD for short. You can learn more about CPD in Module 2. Achieving chartered status is a prestigious accolade that is recognised and respected around the world. It communicates to the people you come into contact with that your competencies have been independently assessed and that you adhere to a professional code of conduct. Whether in a work setting or in dealings with those outside the sector, chartered status signals that your expertise is grounded on experience, practical knowledge and thorough understanding of your field. Becoming chartered has to be a rigorous process in order for the status to demonstrate excellence. So, at first glance, it can seem somewhat daunting. This module will explain each step of the process, why it is necessary and what it entails. It will give you the confidence to make an application and some useful pointers on getting prepared. There are two main requirements. Firstly, you must provide evidence of master's level knowledge in a relevant subject. The second requirement is to demonstrate you have achieved competence in key areas such as management, leadership, communication or interpersonal skills. Everyone follows a different career path so the time needed to develop the necessary competencies and accrue sufficient relevant experience varies from individual to individual. Most candidates will have around five years experience with some job progression in that time. If you are keen to pursue chartered status but do not have a formal master's level qualification, you have two options. Firstly, you could consider going back to school and studying for a master's. This is a good way to be certain that you have the right background knowledge and understanding, as it will have been externally validated by a university. It is not necessary to put your career on hold when you do this. Many distance learning courses and degree programmes can be completed in your own time to fit around work commitments and home life. However, if returning to formal education is not for you, you can take a different route by undertaking a career appraisal. This is designed to verify that over the course of your career you have obtained an equivalent level of knowledge as a formal academic qualification. The process revolves around a report you prepare that charts your career progression and describes the knowledge and understanding you have picked up along the way and how it has been assessed. It should contain evidence of your knowledge related to specific disciplines and how you have applied it in a practical setting. The goal of the exercise is to reflect on the professional expertise you have accumulated so that you can communicate it to your assessor. The second part of the process focuses on the competencies you have acquired. These will vary depending on the status you are applying for, but will cover things like design and development of processes or systems, project management, technical and commercial leadership, communication and interpersonal skills you will have to give an example of how you meet each competency. So far, we have focused on what you need to do, but your application cannot be completed alone. You must have a referee who can verify your academic qualifications and confirm that the information you have provided in your application is true and accurate. We strongly recommend you also find a mentor to help you navigate the application process. It is better to find a colleague or someone who already has chartered status, as they will have first-hand experience of what is involved and can pass on their wisdom as they guide you through the various sections. The IMRS can help you find a suitable mentor if you need support. 
There is one final thing you need to become chartered, and that is membership of a professional body. The IMRST is the only membership body in the world that offers charter status that specifically corresponds to the skills and aptitudes needed by marine professionals no matter what their discipline. Joining the IMRST also expands your opportunities for networking and engaging in industry-level initiatives, specifically within the marine sector. This will help further your ongoing professional development. You can apply for membership at the same time as applying for your chartered status. For more information, you can complete Module 3 in this series, which will talk you through the application process in more detail. However, the IMRST website contains all the necessary forms and additional guidance 